Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today we're going to talk about domain and range. And if you're wondering what these are and you're looking it up on the internet for the definition of domain and range, you'll probably see about 50 different types of definitions. So instead of starting with a definition, I'm just going to show you how to do these questions and you can come up with your own definition. So if the most common domain and range question is you'll be given a graph and you are asked to find the domain and the range of the graph. Now if you're looking at this graph right now you can see that it has an x-axis and the y-axis so x is usually the horizontal axis y is usually the vertical axis and you can see a graph uh, given to you guys uh, in the shape of a circle sort of um, and you're wondering well what is the equation of the graph how come it looks so funny well the answer is it doesn't matter at all what the equation of the graph is we don't care about that if you are asked for the domain and range it's got nothing to do with the um, the equation of the graph so all you need to know for domain is we're looking at the possible x values possible x values of the graph so if you look at the x values right, which is along the horizontal axis the x values go from here all the way to here right if you look at this graph it doesn't go beyond x is 0 and x is 4 so therefore the possible x values will go from 0 to 4 right so what this symbol means is that 0 is smaller than or equal to x which is smaller than or equal to 4 right if you have a look at this symbol here the pointed bit is the smaller bit okay so this is saying 0 is smaller than or equal to x which is smaller than or equal to 4 right, 0 is smaller than or equal to x which is smaller than or equal to 4 so x is in between 0 and 4 that's what this is saying okay now we look at the range the range is basically the possible y values. So if you have a look at the circle graph, the range of it goes from y is 4 down to y is 0. It doesn't go beyond this range vertically, right? Any point along this graph, if you have a look at all the possible points, they will not have a y value greater than 4 and they will not have a y value smaller than 0 right all of these points along the line so therefore the range is between 0 to 4 again okay so I'm gonna give you some more graphs and you can tell me the domain and the range Okay, so let's start with these three questions. Find the domain and range of the following graphs. Okay, let's start with the first one. It is just a straight line going across and if you look at the straight line horizontally, uh, it can go as far as you want to the right and it, can also, it do also does not indicate where it stops on the left. So in terms of the domain, it can go from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity right so therefore that is the domain or you can simply say x is an element of the set of real numbers so x can be any number that's what this is saying 
Okay, um, then we have a range, which is again from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. Y can be anywhere from negative infin infinity to positive infinity, or you can say um, Y is a element of uh, real numbers, the set of real numbers, any number all right, you can think of. Now let's go to question B, uh, the domain. If you have a look at the graph horizontally, all right, horizontally it is covering um, all the possible numbers, all right? Because if you imagine this line and you extend it as far as you want, okay, what's going to happen is the line will get wider and wider, and eventually it will cover all the possible x values. All right, so um, the domain is still negative infin infinity to positive infinity. All right, and then the range is going to be um, uh, y is bigger than or equal to 4. Uh, negative 4, sorry, negative 4. Because if you have a look at this parabola, the bottom of it touches y is negative 4. So the parabola vertically will cover all the values above y is negative 4. So that is the range. Okay, now if you have a look at um, this third graph, uh, basically the domain is uh, the x coordinates of these two dots. So this dot is negative 2, and this dot has an x coordinate of 2. So that is the domain. And if you have a look at the range, right, then we look at the possible y values. So the y value of this dot is 2 and the y value of this dot is 3. So that's how you get the domain and the range. Now let's do one where we use instead of the larger and equal to sign, let's just do um, okay I'll just show you. So question D, um, let's do one where we have a hollow, uh, so x is 1, 2, 3 Alright, let's do a hollow circle at x is 3, right, and then have the parabola going sideways. Okay, so now let's look at the domain. So if you have a look at this graph, horizontally, x can go as far as infinity, positive infinity in this direction to the right hand side, but the left hand side x stops at 3, right? You can't put equals here because we have a hollow dot where 3 is, a hollow circle, so 3 is not included in the list of possible x values, right? The hollow circle means x does not touch 3. Okay, whereas a solid circle would mean that um, x does touch 3, but a hollow one means it doesn't touch it. Okay, now let's look at the range. So again we have negative infinity to positive infinity. And the reason is because you can if you imagine parabolas, if we keep going in this direction, it's going to eventually go up all the way to the top, or it can go down to all the way along the bottom, and therefore go into negative infinity or positive infinity. Okay, I hope this tutorial helps you guys to understand domain and range. See you guys next time.